Lonely times. Lonely times. There are fears that only you must confront as a leader. Only you know the weight of the challenges ahead. There are situations that you are the, as a leader, you're only one that know the weight of the challenges that are ahead. If you expose those challenges to those you lead, they will become afraid. If you expose those fears to the people that you lead, to your troops, they will lose their motivation to fight. So leaders have their fears. That's what we are talking about. Leaders have their fears. But they are fears that only you must deal with. If you expose those fears to your troops, they may lose their motivation to fight and even run away. You have to deal with those fears alone as a leader. While your troops look up to you to display courage and draw from your own courage, you are dealing with fear that you cannot share. Those are the kind of things that leaders have to deal with. There are situations where, for example, you are the father in the house. Uh, I saw a picture on, online about um, they showed a dad who was sitting alone in the veranda of his house. And someone posted that um, if you ever if you show me if you ever seen your uh, signal if you ever seen your dad sit alone like this in the front of the house when everybody is watching TV in the sitting room. And a lot of people were clicking, yes, because you know they are fierce. The father has to think about what is ahead. And the same thing, the father is the leader. He cannot share it because if he shares it, everybody will become afraid. The guy is afraid. What will happen to this business? What will happen to the cash flow? Same thing when you are leading a business, a community. There are fears that only you alone must deal with. If those fears you expose them to your truth, they will run away and they will not fight. The Lord Jesus Christ, in Matthew 26, 36 to 56, had to go and pray alone in Gethsemane. He could not share the challenge of the cross with his troops. He said, the Lord Jesus Christ said something like this. He told the apostles, sit here while I go to pray. He didn't take them to pray with him. Even his kitchen cabinet, those three close apostles, and God was making reference to, to them, even those kitchen cabinets, those three out of the twelve, the people that were closest to him, he did not even share the fear with them. They were sleeping when he went away to pray, to lament his body to God. And you know what he told the Lord? He said, my father, if it, is, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. He was the only one that said that to God. Maybe if he had said that to his everybody would have run away even before the cross came. <laughs> Only the Lord Jesus knew the size and the weight of the challenge of the body of the cross that was ahead. So as a leader, there will be lonely times when you alone have to deal with your fear.